Why did you decide that this was the right time to retire? Well, I don't think there's any good time, especially when you're a coach, because once you're a coach, you think you're going to be a coach forever. But I actually thought that uh, in hiring coaches, uh, recruiting players, uh, that my age started to become a little bit of an issue. People wanted uh, assurances that I would be here for three years, five years, whatever, and it got harder and harder for me to be honest about. And to be honest, this last season uh, was grueling. Uh, it was a real grind uh, for us to come from where we started to where we got to. Uh, took a little, little more out of me than usual. And you know, when people mentioned the health issue, it was really just the grind of, can you do this the way you want to do it? Can you do it the way you've always done it and be able to sustain it and do it for the entire season? And if I couldn't make a commitment to do that in the future, uh, the way I, I think I have to do it, um, I thought maybe this was the right time based on those two sets of circumstances uh, that, um, like I said, there's never a good time. Uh, but I thought maybe this was the right time. So there's no, there's no illness. It's just the grind and the gruel of the season. Yeah, there's no illness. Miss Terry's fine. I'm fine. Um, but it was the, can you sustain the season, you know, from just a, a mental grind standpoint. Um, and I, you know, when I was young, you know, I could work till two in the morning, get up at six and be there the next day and be full of energy and go for it. But when you get a little older, that gets a little tougher. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. What's an example of something that when you say it took a little more out of you, a little more grueling this year, what's an example of something that happened in the season? Um, you know, I think that my role um, was a little different this year. Um, I was more involved with defense, had to be more involved with the defense. Uh, that took a little more time, put a little more stress, you know, on me, um, made me feel like maybe I wasn't doing as good a job as I needed to in other parts of our team. And um, I just have a high standard for how I do things. And if I can't, if I don't feel like I'm living up to that standard, I'm really disappointed. I wasn't disappointed in the season. I wasn't disappointed in the team. I wasn't disappointed in the players. In fact, this team was fun to coach. And it was a, they came a long ways. Uh, and I was really proud, you know, of the way everybody bought in and did what they did to have the success that we had. But at the same time, I felt like I could have done a better job um, if I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> I was told yesterday you were interviewing staff members, potential staff members. Were you going back and forth even up to even up to yesterday before you made the decision about whether you were actually going to do this? Yeah, I was. Uh, it was a hard decision. Look, I, I love coaching. I love the relationships with the players. Uh, the thing that made it more difficult for me is I felt like it might be the right time for me, uh, but how it impacted the players, the coaches, all the people who work here in the building and contributed to the to the success of the team. You know, how would it affect them? You know, that was the hard part. And um, that was the part that, you know, I kept vacillating on back and forth till I was on the phone at, we had a meeting at four o'clock. Uh, I was 3.55. I was sitting in my chair looking at the clock saying, you got five minutes to decide which speech you're gonna give. And I was actually talking to Miss Terry <laughs> right up until that time. So um, it was a difficult decision uh, because it had in, impacts and influences you know the lives of so many people what was that moment like for you difficult very difficult because I love those guys sitting in that room I love those players um, I appreciate there's nothing more that I respect than great competitors and uh, these guys all overcame tremendous resiliency uh, they committed to the program uh, they committed themselves to the team uh, for next year and I wanted to go in and say, hey, I want everybody to make a 100% commitment for the next 12 months, but I got to be able to make that same kind of commitment if I'm going to be the leader and the coach. So, um, and that, that was a little bit of a dilemma.